This is also the first time the world has ever built a small modular reactor based on a generation four design. This starts with a contradiction. Nuclear energy promises limitless power, yet sparks fear wherever it appears. We picture towering domes, political gridlock, and catastrophic meltdowns. But beneath the noisy debate, something smaller and quieter has emerged. In a remote corner of China, an unassuming facility came online. No fanfare, no panic, just a steady hum, calm and new. A small modular reactor, not science fiction, not a prototype. Real electricity, already flowing into the grid. While much of the world argues, China is building. The question isn't whether this technology works. It's why so few are paying attention to what could quietly power the future. The idea that changed nuclear power. For decades, nuclear energy meant enormous plants with mile-wide safety zones, construction timelines measured in decades, and budgets in the billions. But that model is breaking down. The demand for constant, carbon-free electricity is rising faster than traditional systems can handle. This is where small modular reactors, or SMRs, rewrite the rules. They aren't just downsized versions of legacy reactors, they're a complete rethinking. SMRs are factory built, not assembled piece by piece on site. That means consistent quality, faster builds, and scalability. Instead of 10 years, an SMR can go from start to finish in as little as two. And their modular design allows utilities to add capacity like Lego bricks. One unit for a small town, five for a growing city. Safety isn't bolted on, it's built in. Many SMR designs use passive cooling that doesn't depend on pumps or human intervention. If something goes wrong, natural forces like gravity and convection take over. Unlike fossil fuels, SMRs operate with emissions as low as wind and even lower than solar. No smoke, no soot, just quiet, reliable heat creating clean energy. They aren't about replacing every coal plant with massive reactors. They're about putting safe, efficient power exactly where it's needed, without waiting decades to do it. The pebble reactor nobody expected. Hidden on China's northeastern coastline, in a province most people couldn't find on a map, sits one of the boldest energy experiments on the planet. It's called the HTRPM, short for High Temperature Gas-Cooled Pebble Bed Modular Reactor. The name sounds technical. The reality is groundbreaking. Instead of long metal rods, this reactor contains thousands of graphite balls, each infused with tiny uranium particles. These pebbles produce heat through fission. The twist? Instead of water, helium gas acts as the coolant. Helium doesn't turn radioactive, doesn't evaporate, and doesn't corrode. That means fewer failure points and a more stable core. Even more surprising, the system doesn't rely on outside power to stay safe. If the coolant stops moving, the reactor cools itself naturally via conduction and radiation. No meltdown, no chaos. When it quietly connected to the grid in 2023, it became the first SMR of its kind to deliver commercial power. There were no headlines, no global attention, but the implications are enormous. In this modest plant, China validated a concept that dozens of startups are still chasing and it's already lighting homes. Ling Long won and the certification race. While the HTRPM stands out for its exotic design, China's Ling Long won is making news for another reason, international approval. Built on Hainan Island, Ling Long won became the first SMR to pass a full safety review by the International Atomic Energy Agency. That changes everything. Unlike its pebble bed sibling, Ling Long uses pressurized water, a well-known and widely trusted technology. But here, it's scaled down to just 125 megawatts. 
one-tenth the size of traditional reactors. That's enough to power a small county, a remote factory, or even serve as backup for a major city. Water moves through the core, absorbing heat from uranium fuel, then transfers that heat to a second loop where steam drives a turbine. What's innovative isn't the physics, it's the packaging. Prefabricated sealed modules simplify installation and slash construction times. Ling Long isn't just for electricity. It can also desalinate seawater or provide heat for buildings. With its first unit nearing completion, it may be the world's most export-ready SMR. And China knows it. America's SMR struggle. Across the Pacific, the U.S. story is more tangled. America has no shortage of SMR designs on paper. Dozens of startups and labs are pushing boundaries with bold visions, but few have moved beyond the drawing board. New Scale, once America's great SMR hope, secured the first U.S. design certification. But soaring costs and project cancellations soon followed. X Energy, funded partly by Amazon, is developing a helium-cooled reactor that looks promising but remains stuck in funding limbo. Unlike China, where the state shoulders R&D risks, U.S. innovators depend on venture capital, federal grants, and hesitant utility partners. This isn't about a lack of engineering talent. It's about mismatched priorities and infrastructure. Even with government support, deploying a modular plant means battling regulatory hurdles, local opposition, and grid challenges that can take years to resolve. America has the science. What it lacks is alignment. While its engineers optimize fuel and cooling systems, China is already exporting reactors. The real danger isn't losing the technology race, it's losing the will to build. Data centers, the silent power race. There's an invisible energy war happening, and its battleground isn't power plants, it's data centers. As AI grows and cloud services expand, these digital fortresses are consuming staggering amounts of electricity. By 2030, they could devour over 5% of global power, more than many nations use annually. Big tech knows this. They're not waiting for governments to act. Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are quietly investing in small nuclear reactors, not for PR, but survival. Unlike wind and solar, which rise and fall with weather, SMRs deliver steady output. No fluctuations, no downtime. Perfect for servers that must stay online 24-7. Microsoft already has a director of nuclear energy. Amazon is backing X Energy. Google supports startups working on grid-independent systems. This isn't about image. It's about keeping a digital world alive. For companies chasing net zero, SMRs offer the reliability they need. Uranium's next chapter. Uranium powers 95% of the world's reactors, and with SMRs multiplying, demand is set to rise. But natural uranium is mostly U238, useless for energy. The valuable part is U235, which requires enrichment. A single uranium pellet packs as much energy as a ton of coal, burning clean and lasting years. Companies like Uranium Royalty Corp are positioning themselves to profit, funding miners, and earning royalties on their output. Modern extraction techniques, like in situ leaching, minimize environmental impacts by dissolving uranium underground. As SMRs go mainstream, Securing uranium supplies will be critical for energy security. Costs, misconceptions, and reality. SMRs were marketed as affordable, but initial projects in the West face cost overruns. Monte Carlo simulations show some designs still lag behind wind and solar. But remember solar in 2005? Expensive and niche. Today it's cheap and everywhere. SMRs may follow a similar trajectory once production scales up. Their advantage is reliability. SMRs provide constant base load power. No batteries, 
no backup generators, no blackout risk. Australian researchers predict SMR costs could fall 50% in five years. If that happens, they might quietly become the most dependable clean energy option. But only if we start building now. The Waste Dilemma Nuclear waste lasts millennia, that's a fact, and SMRs don't erase this issue. Deep geological storage is our best option, but it's not flawless. Some SMR designs promise less waste, others aim to recycle it. But Stanford's studies suggest some models may generate more waste volume per megawatt, even if it's less radioactive. This isn't a deal-breaker, but it demands transparency. Clean energy isn't just about cutting carbon. It's about the legacy we leave behind. The future won't be powered by one single breakthrough. It will emerge bit by bit, quietly and persistently. SMRs aren't perfect. They raise questions, spark debate, and face resistance. But they also carry promise, real, grid-connected promise. While others talk, China builds. While others debate, tech giants invest. Change doesn't always announce itself with fanfare. Sometimes it hums in the background. By the time we notice, the wires may already be buried and glowing.